Toronto. It's preseason NBA action. As Phoenix took on Philadelphia in the first quarter, Charles Shackelford was stripped by Jeff Hornacek. Fast break for Phoenix. And at the other end, Dan Marley with the power jam. Phoenix led 13-5 as well as 30-21 at the end of the first quarter. On to second quarter action. Rookie Richard Dumas with the huge jam over Manu Bowl. And the game was tied at 34. But then just moments later, Bowl got his revenge as he blocked Dumas. To start a fast break for Philadelphia. And at the other end, Theron Mays with the nice reverse layup for two of his team high 17 points. And six is led 36-34. Then it was Mays missing the jumper, but he stole the pass from Cedric Sabalas and went in for the easy jam. Philadelphia led 43-36. Then late in the second quarter, Jeff Hornacek with the pass to Joe Barry Carroll, and Phoenix led 62-61 at the end of the first half. On to third quarter action. Nice play by Hersey Hawkins as he stole the pass from Kevin Johnson. Starting fast break for Phoenix, then a nice pass to Johnny Dawkins to put in the short banker. But Philadelphia trailed 79-73. Then late in the third quarter, Jeff Hornacek with a nice drive for two of his game high 22 points. Phoenix led 88-82 as well as 95-90 after three. On to fourth quarter action, Mitchell Wiggins with a nice spin move and banker. And early in the fourth quarter, the Leaves cut to three at 95-92. Then late in the third quarter. Tom Chambers with the baseline jumper. He's put on the nice move. And Phoenix led 102.96. And Philadelphia came back. Jason Williams with the nice drive and power jam. And Phoenix led 104.99. Then one last highlight from this game. Andrew Lang with the nice block on Mays. We started a fast break for Phoenix. And at the other end, Kevin Johnson with the layup. And the Suns led 116-111. They won and won by a score of 126-121. And you might notice there were no highlights from Charles Barkley. That's because he didn't play, but he seemed to have a good time anyway. Tonight, Tuesday night, October 22nd, Derek Coleman with a nice move past John Sally. He dunks it home. Coleman had 10 points in the game, and the Nets were up by one. After that, it was all Pistons here. Dennis Rodman with the one-handed slam. The Pistons led it 49-33 to at the half. The prettiest play of the game, it's Ben Lambia tipping the ball out to Isaiah. Isaiah with a great save to Sally. Sally to Lambia, who lays it up and in. He finishes with 15 points. The Pistons defeat the Nets 1-0. Exhibition NBA action. As Minnesota took on Miami in the first quarter, Grant Long with a nice steal from Felton Spencer. He went all the way for the breakaway jam. But Minnesota led 12-9. Then just moments later... It was another steal this time by Willie Burden. He stole the pass from Tony Campbell. Then a nice pass to Glenn Rice for the alley of jam. But Minnesota still led 12-11. Then later in the first quarter, Rice inside to Grant for the jam. And the Heat led by one at 21-20. Then late in the first quarter, Pooh Richardson with the miss. Steve Smith with the rebound. Richardson then stole the ball from Smith and put an easy layup. Minnesota trailed 26-24, but led 29-28 after one. Second quarter action, off the miss by Miami. Richardson came up with the loose ball, starting a fast break for the Timberwolves. Then the nice pass to Ty Corbin for the jam. Minnesota led 50-47, as well as 50-49 at the end of the first half. In the third quarter, Minnesota went on a 7-0 run, off the air ball by Miami. Tony Campbell went coast-to-coast for the layup and three-point play. Minnesota trailed 58-56, but after the 7-0 run, they led 60-58. Then moments later, off the nice fast break, Glenn Rice with the jam, and the game was tied at 60. Then later in the third quarter, Felton Spencer was blocked from behind by Steve Smith, starting a fast break for Miami. And at the other end, Bimbo Coles went to Willie Burton for a nice scoop layup and three-point play. And Miami led 68-64 as well as 76-71 at three quarters. On to fourth quarter action. Kevin Edwards with a nice steal. They went all the way for the jam. And Miami led by nine at 82-73. They started to open things up. Then a crazy play late in the fourth quarter off a jump ball. Bimbo Cole's lob pass is broken up by Pooh Richardson. 
So then Felton Spencer threw the ball away, recovered by Miami, which led to a jam by Ronnie Cycli, as the Heat led by 11 at 89-78. Then off the fast break, Glenn Rice with the layup and three-point play. Miami led 99-84 to their 112-101 win. Night in preseason NBA action in Los Angeles. The Lakers playing host to Chris Ford and the Boston Celtics in the Forum Shootout. In the first quarter, Byron Scott with a behind-the-back flip to James Worthy, who gets the layup. It's 4-2 Los Angeles. The Lakers opened up the quarter with a 16-2 run. James Worthy with the steal on Larry Bird's pass. Byron Scott goes in for the breakaway jam. It's 10-2 Lakers. Boston closing out a 12-2 run now. Rick Fox with the steal. He goes in for the layup. 24-22 Los Angeles. Tony Smith will make the no-look pass to Eldon Campbell, who gets the two-hand jam. It's 30 to 23 LA. The Lakers led 30 to 27 at the end of one quarter. In the second quarter now, Ed Pinckney for the Celtics with the offensive rebound. The Lakers maintaining a three-point lead. It's 36 to 33 Los Angeles. LA on an 8-0 run now. AC Green with the steal. Vladi Divac takes it in for the slam. He had 16 first half points, 42 to 33 Lakers. John Bagley will get the loose ball here. He makes the overhead pass to Ed Pinkney, who gets the layup 47-37 Lakers, 63-49 Los Angeles at the half. In the third quarter, Magic Johnson with a nice spin move, 70-55 Los Angeles. Larry Bird hits the jumper for Boston, 75-65 Lakers. D. Brown for the Boston Celtics goes coast-to-coast coast off the steal. He takes it in for the layup. Los Angeles still leading, however, 75-67. to 67. Byron Scott will hit his third three-pointer of the game, making it 80-71 to 71 L.A., 91-81 Los Angeles at the end of three. In the fourth quarter, Tony Smith hits the jumper, 100-85 to 85 Los Angeles. The Lakers opening up a 15-point lead, and L.A. goes on to defeat Chris Ford and the Boston Celtics by the final of 121-105 to 105 at the Forum on Tuesday night. The Lakers took on Della Harris and the Milwaukee Bucks in some preseason action. And the first quarter, nice play by Jay Humphreys. He stole a pass from Magic Johnson, went in for the layup. And Milwaukee led 11-7 early on. Then later in the first quarter, Magic Johnson with a great bounce pass to James Worthy for the jam. The game was tied at 13, but Milwaukee led at 25-24 after one quarter. On to a second quarter action with the game tied at 29. Nice play by Tony Smith as he blocked. Alvin Robertson starting a fast break for L.A. to Dale 3 with layup and three-point play. And the Lakers led at 32-29. Then Smith stole the ball from Robertson. Starting another fast break for L.A. James Worthy with the jam. And the Lakers led by two at 37-35. But Robertson got his revenge as he stole the ball from Tony Smith. And at the other end, he put in the jam. And the Bucks led 39-37. Then later in the second quarter, nice play by Brandon Lowhouse as he blocked Byron Scott. Then saved the ball on one motion, starting a fast break for Milwaukee. And at the other end, Dale Ellis with the layup. Milwaukee led 48-41 as well, 55-47 after the half. On to third quarter action, where the Bucks really dominated. Matt Johnson with the bad turnover, starting a fast break for Milwaukee. Al Robinson with another jam. And Milwaukee led by 11 at 63-51. Then it was Larry Kristoviak with a nice fadeaway jumper. Good for a three-point play. And Milwaukee led 68-57. Then later in the third quarter, Moses Malone with the baseline jam. The Bucks led 78-63 as well as 85-65 at the end of three. The fourth quarter was all garbage time. And there was more entertaining action on the bench than there was on the court. As Dell